Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to my Kerbal Space Program series. It has been forever since I made one of these videos. In fact, Kerbal Space Program was the very first series that I started with back in November when I first started making YouTube videos. And I really haven't been on since the last video I posted. And then that update came, update came out, and it broke all my mods, and then uh, I just waited a while, and then I went through, I updated most of them. I was still getting a couple of warnings when I uh, I logged on just now, but no, I this is the first time I'm seeing this new update, and it looks very, very, very interesting. Now, one thing that I know that they have added, I haven't looked at the patch notes in a while. I looked at them right when they updated, and I was like, uh, yeah, I'm sure that's gonna break my mods, and I'm gonna have to start a new game, which I did. This is a brand new career, separate from the series I was doing before. And one thing I know that they've added is there are upgradable facilities now. So, I didn't mean actually mean to click on that. I think it's right-click. Holy cow, hello there. We're Hoban von German, you. They completely redid the UI. There's all sorts of uh, new ways to sort things. Ooh, advanced mode filtered by resource. All sorts of different ways to filter things in the VAB, the Vehicle Assembly Building. I want to get out. Let me out! I'm stuck in your pocket. That's my phone ringtone. Used to be. I should add that back. It's fun. Right click. Okay. So right now, the max number of parts it appears that I can have in a ship is 30. And to upgrade it, it'll cost 210,000 credits. And that's actually a big jump from 30 to 255. And basic action groups are available. And that kind of stinks. You don't get uh, action groups. Orbits visual map patched conics. What are patched conics? If you know what that is, leave it in the comments because I have no idea what it is. I guess I could just look it up, but I don't really feel like it right now. I'm in the middle of a video, dang it. Um, <laughs> find lunch thief. It's on the. <laughs> they redid the uh, the background in the uh, administration building. Max commitment twenty five percent. So this is really cool. It adds a little bit more of um, more of a management element with having to upgrade your buildings. And as I recall, I didn't mean to go back into there. I want to go to the uh, the staff building. They've added skills. Yeah, there's different people that have uh, different skills, and I don't remember like, what is good. I don't know if a lot of courage means they're really brave, because I think they're starting to make these stats matter a little bit. Like, if they're stupid, you're not going to want them to be scientists. <clears throat> scientists can boost the value of data from science effects. Engineer. Pilot. So I'm guessing the less stupidity, the better. That would make sense. Unless they have it backwards for some reason. <clears throat> and then the stupid ones are engineers. <laughs> huh. <clears throat> We've got pylons, effect stability assist. Okay, so, you know, the Kerbals, it actually it looks like it's becoming worthwhile to keep your Kerbals alive. Who knew? I always have so much fun sending them off and, uh, in rec irrecoverable missions. But anyway, enough of, uh, looking at all this stuff. Let's just go ahead and get right into the meat and potatoes of the game. Let's, uh... Oh, that's the space plane thing. I don't even recognize what the buildings look like anymore. I don't even know! Oh god. Shiz um, where... Is that it? Research and development. No. Oh, that... Ah, that's what I was looking for right there. Tracking station upgrade required for flight planning. Mm -hmm. Launch a new vessel. Sure, I will do that. Achieve... Set altitude record. And I'll do that. That's good enough. <laughs> I don't know, this is going to be quite interesting. And, oh, I heard that they're planning on launching uh, 1.0 and leaving early access. I personally think it's a little bit early for that, but I mean, I'm not on the development team. I don't know what is exactly going to be going into the new update. But yeah, I mean, it's not my decision. If they think they're ready, who am I to question it? I do like the uh, retexturing of everything. It's quite nice. And I like how you have to upgrade everything. Look how small the launch pad is now. It's changed a lot. Man, I haven't played this in a long time. 
offset rotate. So we have a bunch more tools too. Set select a set of two or more parts to attach. Uh, you know what? I don't. <laughs> I'm not gonna play around with more of the advanced features yet. Tech level. That's cool. You can even sort it by tech level. Okay. <laughs> so this is all I have access to right now. Man, this game is getting so awesome. I wish I'd gotten into it sooner. It's always exciting to hop into a game really early in its development. Sure, it may not have a lot of features, all the features that you want, but you know, it's just really awesome just being there throughout the course of a game's development. <clears throat> and seeing it grow. And then when it's popular, you're like, yeah, I played that game before, it was cool. But no. Nope, I can't say that. Anywho, I guess... You know what? My camera is probably right in the way of everything. I'm just going to go ahead and bring this to the launch pad. I'm going to have to check. I might have to move that quickly. I didn't even remember that. I usually... <laughs> in my software, I always have to move around the, um, the camera because it's always in the way in certain games. <laughs> I like the launch pad. What is that? You know, it's just a little warp thing it's covering up. It'll be fine. It's important for you to see the, um... The staging. If it's not top left, I usually put it bottom left. So I guess top left covers... Covers less of what you need to see. Flight Engineer. Apparently that's... A thing right now. I didn't even put that on there. Oh well. Anyway, our only... Our two jobs is to launch a, launch a ship and get up to 5,000 meters. I think I can handle that. I am, after all, a Kerbal Space Program professional. I go way back. Not way back, like a, a year. <clears throat> but still, I've had my fair share of launches. And up, up, up we go! Felt like Gollum there. Luring Frodo and his, uh... I don't even know his gardener, Sam, up to Shelob, the giant spider thing that goes <laughs> and eats people. That would really ruin your day. Um, Apple Apps height, we're almost to 5,000, of course, even if I stop right at 5,000. Well, I stopped a little bit before, but because of the, the drag from, since we're in atmosphere, it's gonna, you know, lower that. I do, you know, I'm actually gonna kind of tilt this way. It's easier to splash down in water than the come down on land. Let's do a flip. Yeah, we did a flip. Stop, stop flipping. Do a barrel roll. Yeah. The other way. Yeah, do another barrel roll. Yeah. You know, I totally already met my uh, objective here. So I'm just going to time accelerate downward. I was hitting the wrong period key. I was hitting the one on the number pad, and all that was doing was uh, raising and lowering the, um, the fancy smanchy nav ball. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. Fuck me. Fuck. 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 I made a boo boo. I made a boo boo. I'm sorry. I'm so horribly sorry. Jebediah, if you don't make it back, I won't tell you kids that you love them. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I broke the parachute. Man, this is... Man, I'm out of practice. Shies! I ran out of fuel! I'm sorry, Jebediah! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I totally reverted that flight back to launch and redid it and got a little bit of science out of it. Totally not cheating. It's a feature in the game. Duh. No, I didn't want to lose Jeb. It was really funny, though. I can't believe I did that. Yeah, he got one XP! Yeah, that's cool. I was always hoping that they'd add an XP system. That way your Kerbals are actually worth something instead of having, you know, just a limitless supply of green men that you can just launch into space. Hmm, see that asteroid over there? Hmm, I think I want to launch some Kerbals and have them splat up against it. Just because. I mean, nothing's still stopping you from doing that. You know, it's okay. Anyway, I finished both of those contracts. Actually, I want to just delete them. Both. Um, okay. Delete. Delete. There we go. 
All right. What else they got for me? Perform visual surveys of Kerbin. I don't think I've seen this mission before. Take a crew report at the location designated below. Take a crew report in flight above 17,800 8, 17, meters near area 6LM. I don't know where that is. Or where that would be. I'm just going to avoid that mission for now. And I'm going to take this mission to set an altitude record of 11,000 kilometers. Pilot's Pashas. This is... Is this part of the update or is this one of my mods? I, I, I think this might be the actual thing. Because I don't recognize this. Unless one of my mods, when I updated them, it added a bunch of uh, extra material. Either way, I like it. I just have no idea whether it's part of the base game or not. Anywho. Yeah, I think I can manage to escape the atmosphere. And test a stack decoupler while I landed? I could totally do that. Oh. I can only have two active contracts with the current level. Dang it! <laughs> Damn you, update! No, I actually like this update. Yeah, it's okay. Max vessel size, 20 meters by 15 meters by 15 meters, 18 tons max. That's, it's a big jump, holy crap. It's always a big jump with everything. I mean, I like it. And I think, I was reading the patch notes, well, like, not the patch notes since it hasn't come yet, but, like, what they plan on adding in for the next, for the big update coming up. Apparently they're looking at adding another star system. So, that's going to be awesome. The Kerbal system isn't large enough for the two of us. What was I doing? Oh, right, reaching space. <laughs> you know, just an everyday thing. Uh, you aren't big enough. Actually, you know what, before I do that, silly Ryan, you have become such a noob at Kerbal Space Program. I must go to the Research and Development Center, and I'm going to get basic rocketry. And I do not has enough science to get anything else, because I, I did not science. I did not even science, bro, on that last launch. Well, you didn't even see the last launch, because I cheated and, and uh, referred to time back to the launch, because I lost Jebediah, which is not a good thing. But, yeah, now I've got some better, uh, some bigger fuel tanks. Not necessarily better. Oh, who am I kidding? Bigger is always better. Um, I don't have anything to separate. I do have it. You know what? I was supposed to test this. Um, I'll find a way to test it. <laughs> but there's a will, there is a way, my friends. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, those will just pop out the side and I'll complete the contract for it. <laughs> but yeah, this is probably going to be overkill. But remember, if you've watched any of my previous videos on Kerbal Space Program, overkill is my middle name. I don't know how to not overkill. More boosters, more fuel. That is all you need. And I don't have anything that can detach these on there. But that's okay. I'll carry the dead weight. I don't even care. I don't even care. Launchpad doesn't support vessels heavier. Darn you! Untitled spacecraft's total mass is 28.83 tons. Unable to launch. What if I do that? Then will it be okay? Will you accept me now, Launchpad? Am I thin enough? I was too fat for you. But now I'm all lean and mean. I don't want to launch on you. No. I'm too good for you, sister. What, what is up with this little box here? That used to be like the Kerbal Engineer. I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, I'm supposed to... Um, to launch these from the ground. Wait, you know what? I didn't even... I wasn't even able to accept that. Whatever. I'll just put it on the top and... They shouldn't interfere too much. Anyway, here we are, taking off from the ground with my 
two little thingamabobbers dangling off of my side. All I care about is reaching space, and I believe the threshold is 70,000 meters, 7 km, 70, 70 kilometers. And up, up we go. I don't know if I'll actually be able to make it, but even if we don't, I'm sure, so absolutely positive that I will be able to breach 11 kilometers. That is definitely, absolutely, positively, 120% doable. Yeah, that's right, it's so doable, it's more doable than even physically possible. That's how doable it is. Up we go. Come on, sing with me, Jebediah. I actually don't know guitar. Oh, I'm gonna have to eject that lower booster. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't put another engine on there. Why? Why must I be such a noob? Well, Jebediah, this is your fault. You forgot to pack an extra engine. Yeah, let's just, just blame the Kerbal. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and ditch that or not. Ugh. Wow. Blunder after blunder with me, huh? Dang it. Oh, shit. Okay, I don't want to go too fast when you're... Uh, your descent when your parachute's about to open. I want to know what that is. Like, what is that? Please, Jebediah, survive. He lived! He lived! <laughs> Let's jump out and celebrate. Let's gather some science. Make something out of that trip. EVA report. That's right. I don't think you can even, um do all of the science until you unlock it with the research and development or something. Jump! Get back. Oh, that's okay. I'll just recover him. He is my vessel. And I'll recover it through the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, through the tracking screen. Or just use this. Recover. Yeah! Plus point one science. And I failed in my objective. Oh, a little piece of debris. But that's okay. At least I got a little something out of it. A little bit of science. Oh dang, I think the, the cheapest thing was like 18 science? 15 science? I'm one science away. But anyway, before this video turns into a giant uh, montage of my epic fails, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Kerbal Space Program is back, and you can look forward to more episodes. I need to start getting something of a schedule, something resembling a schedule. I've already decided that Space Engineers will be on Saturdays. Maybe I'll make a Kerbal Space Program every Tuesday. We'll figure it out. Until next time, though, this is Ryan from Strumble the Games, signing off.